My mom had a battle with addiction long before I was born. Um, and unfortunately, that battle continued during her pregnancies with uh, my siblings as well as me. Got pregnant with my sister and I, we were both twins. Um, and uh, we were born three months early due to the drug addiction. Um, and we were two pound babies and both had to fight for our lives in the NICU for the first few months of our lives. Um, and that caused a lot of complications with uh, my twin sister. Um, she is my rock. <laughs> She's my other half. Um, there is a chance that both of us couldn't have been here, but more so her. Um, she fought for her life for the first 10 years of our lives. Um, and I truly believe she, <clears throat> even though she has the disability, uh, cerebral palsy, that doesn't stop her from living her life and being happy. And she's the happiest girl I've ever met. Um, due to the addiction, my mom, she was not allowed to take us home. So my father's parents um, adopted us when we were ready to go home. When I was seven years old, my mom lost her battle with addiction. Um, so that caused a lot of pain and anger. I didn't really know how to comprehend all of that at such a young age, so. Growing up, I was told that Christ died for my sins, um, but I didn't really feel that. My grandfather would teach me hymns on the organ growing up. <laughs> But then as time went on, my grandfather got sick with dementia and we thought it was best for his safety to um, take him to a nursing home. I was 18 when my grandfather passed away. Um, and that was hard because he was the man that showed me God's love and taught me about Jesus and everything like that. So that was hard to handle. For a long time, I struggled with um, like anxiety and depression. The older I got, the more painful it became for me. Life before Christ, I um, was angry, bitter, controlled by all of my emotions, not just one. Um, and I would really cling to negativity, not just within myself, but everywhere, outward. Um, friends, relationships, negativity. And it really took a toll on my soul. When it feels like the dark lingers longer than the night when the shadows feel like giants are you chasing me down tell me where thoughts There's no hiding from your love Highs and lows Lord you're with me either way it goes Should I rise or should I fall Too good to let me go Should I dance on the heights Or make my bed among the depths Your mercy waits at every end Like you planned it from the start Should the dawn come with wings Or find me far side of the sea There your hand still fastens me Ever closer to your heart me either way it goes 
Should I rise or should I fall? Even so, though your mercy is an even flow, should I rise or should I fall? You are faithful through it all. You're too good to let me go. And then one day I asked my now husband if we could go to Cedar Creek together. Um, and I had watched a few services online with my sister and her fiance. It was one of the days I had asked TJ if he wanted to go to Cedar Creek. And I was expecting him to say no. Um, but this time he said yes. And I was completely shocked. We both were struggling with our fair share of emotions, anxiety, depression. Um, so I think it was a necessity for both of us to start going. After a few series into the um, being an anxious presence at Cedar Creek, TJ and I decided that we wanted to get baptized together. So on October 3rd, TJ went first and then TJ and Sean both baptized me. And as soon as I came up out of that water, it was something that I just can't really describe. Um, just like feeling like when someone says the weight's lifted off of your shoulders, that's real. That's what it felt like. And I relived that moment every day. Life now um, that I've been saved again <laughs> as an adult, um, I feel, even though I'm emotional now, I feel happy and free of my emotions. And um, I feel that I can finally be myself and I don't have to wear a mask and um, be what others want me to be and I can be who God created me to be, and I feel like I have a purpose now. <laughs>